I don't know where to start. And I really don't know what to start with. That's not good. Just a little understand when it hits the water, it'll, that'll close in, that, that hair will close in. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Brett and I run Bee Fishing, this, this channel, Bee Fishing Outdoors, but you can just call it Bee Fishing, that's what I call it. If you have never been to the channel before and you're brand new, go ahead, do yourself a favor, get in the bottom corner, hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, hit the ding dong notification so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. But guys, I've got a good one for you today. You're going to want to hit the like button for this. In one of my past live streams, I talked about how there is a pond in my neighborhood and that I don't think it has any fish in it, but I saw some families trying to fish out of it and felt bad and asked the uh, neighborhood association if I could bring in some bluegill, clean up the area a little bit. Well, they told me no, but what they did say is that it used to be stocked and it used to be managed. And then during the housing bubble in like 2008, or I think it was around 2008, that uh, they stopped doing it. There should still be fish in there. So when I walked down there, I started talking to a family that was fishing. They said, oh yeah, we catch fish out of here all the time. There's uh, been several people that have caught threes and fours out of here. And I was like, really? Well, I need to do something about that. I mean, that's literally a block from my house. What am I doing? I run a YouTube channel. I mean, are you kidding me? How did I not know about this? Today, we've got the little kayak. We're gonna drive the truck down the road a little bit. We're gonna hop in that pond and see if we can't catch something. So mainly we're gonna be using catch co baits or catch co things you can get um, off of shop carls. If you want to pick up the baits that I use, go ahead and hit the link in the description. It's just gonna say where I buy all my baits. Uh, hit that link and get yourself a Carl's Club membership. Save yourself some money on some baits. Taking three rigs today, I've got them rigged up. Got a special one on right here I'll talk about in just a second. I've got the Trash Master. I've also got just a little Texas rig with like a little bitty baby blue. I don't even know what this is. It's basically like a brush hog, but it's, it's a uh, Carl's Amazing Baits style brush hog. And then right here I've got a special one tied on. So I've got a little cool bait or cool bite paddle tail right there. It's a little, it's the smallest paddle tail I've got. So that's all the reason the color combination may not match. But there is a subscriber by the name of Tyson and he's been sending me a lot of these hair jigs. Let me just show you some of the things he sent me. Tyson loaded your boy up. He makes his own little like chatter baits right here. Makes underspins, which is what I have tied on in white. It's almost like a very finesse style way to fish. So I'm gonna try these in the ponds and I bet you we can get bit on them. So that's why I've got one tied on right there. That's gonna be the name of the game today. We're gonna mosey on down to the pond. I'm gonna put y'all on the chesty. You'll notice the chest, I'm using the foam block now. We're completely getting rid of the external microphones. After that last video, y'all wouldn't know it, but we actually filmed a couple videos and uh, I had to scrap them because the audio was so terrible, but I had to bring y'all that Dollar Tree challenge um, even though the audio was bearable at best. Just another thing we're working on. I'm tired of dealing with external mics, so we're gonna start going with the foam block to cut down on wind noise, and we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. I know my, my OG tried and true bee fishing folks, they're gonna understand, and uh, we'll deal with the uh, audio issues as they come. Anyway, let's, let's get in the truck, let's get down there, and uh, end up at the pond. Let's go. start and I really don't know what to start with but I also brought some worms some various other little like shop Carl's baits I think we're gonna run old Tyson McClendon's I hope I'm pronouncing his name right I probably should have looked it up before I just started talking this little underspin is gonna be a really good search bait I just don't see the, oops, that's not good. Yeah, this thing definitely ain't weedless. There's a, you've got to be kidding me, there are bass in here. Look at this little bass. Quick catch and release. How about that? A lot of y'all may not classify that one as a catch. That is positivity right there. Is that a fish? That's a fish. Got a little buddy. Ah. These guys really 
really no bigger than we have at the pond, but we got a little stinker. Tyson, got him on your little homemade hair jigs here. How about that? Subscriber sent baits. Caught me a little fish. Let's let him go. There he goes. I mean, just fishing right up this grass line. He hit it a couple times, too. So, what? So, they're not only are they fishing here, they're catchable. That was something. That was something on my line. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That exposed that hook, and that hook is so sharp. There may be a bass on a bed over there or something. Oh, that's a giant carp. Good lord. All right, get ready, boys. We're about to do something really stupid. See, told you. I'm trying try to snag him. But I exposed that hook. So majestic. Got one. Oh, the Carl's Amazing Bakes little brush hog. Still a little guy. But he just picked up that little brush hog as I was throwing it and he just couldn't resist it. That is fish number two in the boat, number three hooked. Got that one on a uh, little bottom, bottom action there. How have I lived here? I've lived here longer than I've been doing YouTube. I've never fished this pond. Mind blown. Came off right at the boat. Do y'all mind if I pull my kayak out real quick? Uh, well, I've had a subscriber send me some underspins, and I've been using underspins, but I've also got on like a brush hog and a little jig too. Give me one second, and I'll, I'll, I'll hook you guys up with what I was throwing. Just a little understand when it hits the water it'll that'll close in that, that hair will close in you're welcome all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video i'm back with the truck i've got the kayak put up man that was uh i had no idea i really had no idea i've lived here for nearly six years had no idea they were fishing that pond i knew there were carp i didn't know there were like actual bass we need to investigate that some more. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below on if we should investigate that some more. Also, y'all don't even have to leave a comment on this. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to look up how to uh, fish for grass carp or any kind of carp. I don't really know what I need to do, but I need to figure something out on how to catch carp because there are some Mondo carp in there and uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to get one. I'd like to, uh, to catch one uh, and get that on film. That'd be pretty fun. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, of course, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray. Hit the ding-dong notifications if you want to be notified anytime I drop a new video. And uh, that's going to do it for today. Y'all have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Later.